Hey Clint. Hey what? Could you tell me? Could you tell me why it is that in our society today that it seems like people love money more than they love people? Because it's green. Because it's green. It's green. We like green things. Green plants, green veggies, green. Green's a good color. Everybody loves green. Who doesn't like green? Well, golly gee willikers. <laughs> no. Why no do green we... is for nature, it's not for money. Why do we love money? Because money gives us a certain security, doesn't it? Gives you security. It also gives you power and control. Yep. And, you know, in, in a love life, some people um, use their money to control and they won't, um, they love their money more than they love the person. Well, because money is more reliable, right? Is Isn't money, money more, reliable? more reliable than people? People kind of fickle. Not necessarily. People, people Not say necessarily. one thing. We were just talking about, you know, people say thing one thing and they do another. So it's just like people generally are dependable. So I can kind of get that where, I mean, it's not necessarily, you don't have to make that choice, but there's a certain understanding of why they make that choice of choosing money over people. I don't necessarily agree with it, but it kind of makes sense. So then they, they trust their money more than people. Yeah. Why would you? Even, even in, in a love relationship? Well, the love is, love is, you know, that's, that's hard because it's like, it depends on how you define love. Some people define love as far as we have a lot of common interests. The ancient Greeks called that uh, 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 phileo. We have eros, which is a romantic love. Um, and so it's, it's, it's filled with sentiment. It's filled with what you do for me and what I do for you. Mm -hmm. but, and then there's a love that transcends and that carries you through the hard times. And that person, it may be a friend that's been there for years that you can depend upon and it's just proof through time that they're there and, th and then you have an affection because of that. That's, that's more of a definition for a love, but a lot of people don't have that definition. They haven't come to that point. Maybe they've never seen it, maybe they're too jaded. Um, there's a lot of reasons why people are like that and why they trust money. Well, I've always thought love is God. Well, God again, is love. But again, you've got to define it. The, the, the 19th century theologian A.W. Tozer said, it, depending on how you define God is how you, how you live life, if, if God is, is love to you. So how would you define God? Is God the highest consciousness you can, you can uh, attain to or aspire to? Is God um, just a warm, gushy feeling on all of us? Uh, again, we've got to define some of our terms and uh, what we're talking about. You know, we can't just blanketly say, this is God, it, you know, we should trust God, or God is love. It really is the devil's in the details, and God's in the details, too. Hmm. You well... Don't, you don't think? Well, hmm. I think it's a value thing. A value thing? Yeah, people who, who value their money more than their loved ones, um... It's what it is. Well, it, it's it's a more base human instinct. It's just like when we see that dog snap at at, eat at somebody when it's been hurt, we go ah. But when we see a person rely on money over people, we don't go ah. We go, well, that's bad. Well, it's it's more like an animal. They just haven't learned to evolve past their animal instincts into yeah. into their true humanity. Yeah. So it's it's a humanity thing. So I agree with that as far as it's a value thing. But it's, it's, it's nurturing their humanity, and people really need to nurture that individually and collectively. Yeah, so it's a lack of humanity. Yeah, and, and I don't know how money got, got jolted in there. Money's okay. I think money's great, actually. It lets you do a lot of fun things and make a lot of choices and buy a lot of nice stuff if you want or, or and or help, help people, people out or help people out with it. And um, when, need, when need be or when it comes along, and especially your loved ones. Yeah. And that's all right. It is a security in that sense. Um, um, it's just to, to be agreed with it is kind of odd, and um, and that's 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 what I don't get. So, yeah. so because maybe you won't. <laughs> I don't know. I don't. I don't, I don't know if I, I. I do. I know. I do get it. I just definitely are. are I'm aware of it now. <laughs> it's better now than never, right? Yeah, I guess so. I guess exactly. so. It's a step of. Uh, Stuff of awareness and realization. Exactly. So, all right. Well, Clint, another good conversation. Julia Waldorf. Namaste. Julia Waldorf.com. Namaste. Ciao, ciao.